So the PlayStation Portal is out, it's getting reviews, and those reviews are not very good. We're gonna talk about the uh, portable PlayStation that's also not, it's like a streaming device, it's not a self-contained thing. I don't know who this is for exactly, because you, you can't really take your games on the go. You can basically like go sit out in the kitchen and play a game streaming from your PS5 or something. I guess we're going to talk about this. This is Neon. This is Clownfish Gaming. And uh, this is a kind of a roundup of PlayStation Portal reviews. I have no interest. I have no interest in buying one of these, especially after reading the reviews. I still don't fully understand uh, what it is. It's just basically a way to play your PlayStation. Kind of like the Wii U, right? Is that what it is? Like your PlayStation plays a game and you walk over to the other side of the room and you stream the game from your PlayStation 5 or something. Yeah, so let's talk about this. We do talk about gaming news. We do gameplay videos, and uh, we're gonna talk about this because the, the roundup is not good. This is coming from The Verge. Sony's PlayStation Portal gives a confusing first impression. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, we're gonna talk about some of these reviews. The Franken Controller Tablet Hybrid is designed to be an it just works solution to home game streaming, but it feels familiar to existing remote play options. So it's $199.99. It does one thing, it streams games via Wi-Fi off your home PlayStation 5, requiring that you own a PlayStation 5. So it's a $200 controller with a screen. That's, that's what this is. It doesn't do any kind of cloud streaming like the GeForce Now or Sony's own PlayStation Plus premium subscription. It can't run anything locally, not even YouTube or Netflix. Ah, really? That's not good. The portal is purpose built to use a singular feature Sony first debuted with the PS3 and PSP back in 2006. It's also widely available on other devices you may already own. So why does this exist? After spending a couple days with it, I'm still not sure. Why does this thing exist? Um, that's not a good, that's not a good first impression. They said, yeah, some of the games don't even stream very well. Um, yeah. So we've got Engadget, PlayStation Portal review, a baffling handheld for no one but Sony diehards. Uh, yeah, it's a lie. Sony has learned nothing from the success of the Switch and the Steam Deck or from its own portable systems like the Vita and the PSP. PSP was pretty good. The PlayStation Portal, yes, technically it's another PSP, is a $200 handheld system that can only stream games from your PlayStation 5. There aren't any built-in apps. It can't play anything locally. It can't even play like Angry Birds or something? Jeez. And there's no connection to Sony's cloud game streaming service. It's purely a streaming window into your PS5, hence the name. I mean, I, I imagine some people would want this, but it, yeah, it seems kind of lame to me. Consequently, it's also a device that lives and dies based on the quality of your internet connection. While it's mostly meant for in-home play, you could technically hop on any Wi-Fi connection to play remotely when you're traveling, but that's only possible if the connection and your home internet can keep up, and if your PS5 doesn't crash or get wonky. If anything along that chain fails, you're left with an ugly $200 doorstop. Ouch. Uh, that's the main problem with the PlayStation Portal. Its downsides are so immediately apparent that it's unclear why anyone should even get one. You could, for example, spend $100 for a backbone controller to stream games from your phone. You could use any existing gamepad to access the PS Remote app on a phone, table, Mac, or Windows PC. There are so many better ways to access games on the go. The PlayStation Portal already feels obsolete before it launches. Ouch, man, Tom's Guide, PlayStation Portal hands-on, the worst PS5 accessory. A game streaming future, we're just not ready for it. This is what's gonna happen though. This is what I'm kind of afraid of. All these companies are jumping into streaming games. It's bad enough that a lot of games, you have to buy them digitally, but now I'm afraid that the future is going to be streaming. So you won't even own a digital copy of a game. You're gonna stream games and that's it. You're not gonna have any more physical copies of games and if the publisher decides to change the game or drop the game, delist the game, whatever, you're, you're, you're screwed. That's it, there's no more game. You know, it's just like a, a crappy mobile app. Everything's a mobile app. When everything's a mobile app, nothing is a mobile app. So Tom's Guide says the early verdict. Uh, the pros, it has a large eight inch screen. 
uh, triggers with haptic feedback. Okay, for well, for 200 bucks, you know, cons, unwieldy to hold, constant latency issues, no way to stream videos. How can they not even put Netflix on this thing? My television from 2008 has Netflix on it. Our old, our old uh, smart TV has Netflix on it, but they can't put it on, they can't put it on this. Uh, inverse, PlayStation Portal is like a Nintendo Switch, but you're chained to your desk. An awkward way to game. Oh boy. Yeah, they said awkward is the resounding word of the day when it comes to my portal experience. From the design to the setup process to the actual gaming experience, while I don't have a ton of time with the product due to the late arrival of my pre-launch review unit and some initial connectivity issues, it seems to be coming up a lot, I was able to play several games on the portal, test out its battery life and graphics, and find out what it's really like to live with this $200 device. Um, yeah, so you get about eight hours of gameplay out of it. Cool. Um, you can use your headphones or the earbuds. Cool. The best use case for the PlayStation Portal is multitasking. You can chip away at a lengthy Japanese role-playing game while you watch TV. That's probably the coolest perk. Play Persona 5 Strikers. 2020 games have been weighing my backlog down while working out, blah, 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 blah. So basically, you can multitask. You can kind of like I do with my Switch now, except I don't have to keep anything tethered to the TV. I'm just like, hey, I'm going to grind on this game or I'm going to play Vampire Survivors while I watch TV or whatever, you know, or kind of listen to the news or something like that. And that's what I do with it. But I don't have to have, uh, you know, a console on docked to the TV to do that. This seems like a very worthless, pointless device. Uh, Polygon. Oh, that's a nice picture. The PlayStation Portal is a fine device for a bizarrely narrow audience. Do you really need to spend $200 for a dedicated remote play device? Uh, at first, you might think it's the second coming of the Vita, but you'd be very wrong. It is, in fact, just a device for playing games over the remote play feature. Why would you spend $200 on this? I don't understand. I mean, I guess, I mean, they could have just gone all Wii U and been like, yeah, this is the PS5 controller from now on. This is what it is. You know, pop that screen out and, and put the two uh, put the two sides together, two thumbsticks together. There's your standard remote. I just, I don't get it. I don't get why people would want to spend $200 for this. I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. You don't need to spend $200 to recreate the experience of the PlayStation Portal because, as I mentioned earlier, just about any device with an internet connection can be a remote play device. You can connect a DualSense controller to your tablet or laptop, and boom, you have the same experience as the Portal, and it's not going to cost you $200. So just wait. Just wait. So you'll make sure you have to buy one if you want to do remote play. I don't know, guys. Uh, those reviews are not good. I was kind of morbidly curious about this. But, um, yeah, I don't have any interest in one. Do you have an interest in one of these? I mean, I would pick one up just for the sheer novelty of it because it might be a collector's item someday. Kind of like the Sega Nomad. I had one of those. I sold it. I wish to God I never sold it. I love that thing. But people are like, yeah, it's a portable Genesis about three years, four years too late. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? It's great. It's great. And you can hook it up to your TV too. Yeah, but we've all moved on to like N64 and PlayStation. Why, why are you... Why are you using a Nomad? I'm like, because um, I like Sonic, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap this video up. Please subscribe to the channel. You have, if you haven't done so already, we'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax.
belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>